South Melbourne began in style when Butsianis found space on the flank and hit a low cross for Polak. When the ball broke free, Trimboli swiveled for a morale-boosting opener. Sydney Olympic fired a warning when the speeds the Barchuk raced away from Hasler. Johnson's shot was blocked, but Barchuk was soon again terrorising his marker, Hasler. This time, Barchuk ended up taking a shot himself, as South Melbourne's frail defence was exposed. The Blues had plenty of chances. Trimboli found Kellich, but he couldn't find the target. After the interval, the big striker was still searching for the finishing touch. South would later regret those misses as Olympic and Barchuk set the pace. Anastasiades made a great double save, but the writing was on the wall. On the hour, Milosevic made the play with an inviting pass. What followed was an inspired goal from Barchuk with the help of a deflection. South no longer enjoyed the midfield dominance, but still found spaces. Polak's shot was too weak, however. The real excitement came whenever Barchuk was at top speed and tormenting the Blues. Kellich had one more chance to be a match winner, but Gibson continued the Blues' frustration, sending the contest to a shootout. South took the extra point in a controversial finish. South Melbourne's long-awaited blast off towards the top six remains firmly stuck on the launch pad. Under Frank Arrock, the Blues have failed to fire, and last weekend was another fizzer. Seven games without a win, and a woeful defensive record has left South Melbourne a long way from liftoff. Kyle Patterson has more. Going into round nine, South Melbourne was second last and had the worst defence in the NSL. Hardly the credentials of title contenders. Frank Arrock admitted his back line was a mess by signing two new defenders, even though the injured Durakovic is near recovery. With Musket returning from suspension, South Melbourne may have a brand new defensive line to face the Melbourne Knights this Friday night. I'm expecting Friday to have, have uh, Kuzmanovic and uh, Davison in the team. Could be easily in uh, for the next game. It is even, even Durakovic. Now, that is a different South Melbourne immediately. But against Sydney Olympic, Arrock had to field a makeshift backline, and the problems were there for all to see. Sydney Olympic's Joe Barchuk tore South Melbourne to shreds with his speed, scoring a fantastic equaliser. I saw Gary coming to me. I just flicked it over and sort of got a little bit of a sprint. Then Wadey come towards me, just flicked it, and I just had a shot. And it went in. It went in. There's a little, little bit of a deflection, and unfortunately it went in. Barchak was a constant menace as Olympic made the running after the interval. South Melbourne had made a promising start. Paul Trimboli was back following his surprise omission a week earlier and scored after 13 minutes. I didn't see it coming, but you know, Frank told me the last win I wasn't playing last week. And uh, he said that we tried everything else and nothing was working, so we might as well keep trying things until something works. So, but I got back in this week. Uh, Francis was sent off last week, so uh, it was good to score early. Got a bit of confidence back. So. The same can't be said of Ivan Kelic. He rattled in five goals in the first four games, but since has had a month of misses. Arrock calculates his team needs 48 points to be sure of a place in the top six. One third of the season has gone and South is a massive 41 points shy of the target. And when you are dying to succeed and when you really are desperate, you are making more and more simple mistakes. Altogether, the result is not good for us. But two points for the win on penalties lifted South to third last and enabled them to share the dubious honour of the worst defence with the Melbourne Zebras. The solitary point was little reward for Olympic's enterprising display. We were trying to play the ball on the ground, always, always, from the back, from Mike, trying always, passes to the front. And of course, it's something that guys maybe are not uh, used to it. It's taking a while for them to understand and believe in it. 
And I think once they start to believe in themselves, I think we're going to start getting more, more get better results. Nice and enjoyed.